I don't want to play this, but I'm gonna. Cuz I got a challenge, and apparently, if you challenge me, I'll do stupid shit. At least, that's the theory. That's my prevailing theory on why I'm doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Flicky. Uh, the Game Fixers, Mac guy I work with on Gamer Grudge and Is It Rotten challenged me to play a bad game or, in my case, the game I hate playing the most in my collection. As I have games that are technically worse, but I kind of get a sick thrill out of them. That does not happen to me with Flicky. I just hate it. Immensely. Um... In, in ways I can't even fully understand, really. You'll, you'll notice, you can actually sort the, these by year, genre, and favorites. You'll notice, Flicky is right next to Sonic 3D Blast. Interestingly enough, Sonic 3D Blast actually has to do with rescuing Flicky. So it kind of gave it a... The next, uh, thing there. But I gotta start playing, I, I suppose. Fuck this game. <sighs> You're annoying and I hate you. know how to play you, unfortunately. So I had to play you to unlock stuff I liked. You control like ass. And you're trying to be a clone of one of my favorite arcade games. In a way, you're trying to up the ante on Mappy. Because I'm no stranger to arcade games. At all. Fuck! See, Flicky has a momentum mechanic. Honestly, not that dissimilar to Sonic, considering this is like... Flicky was designed by Yuji Naka, I believe. This, this does not surprise me. Flicky apparently is some mascot that they love over in Japan. Or they did. Uh, there's even like a 3D, like a, a good... HD remake of it, apparently. Uh, I don't understand. But this this game is suck to me. Because right there, it's like, I can't do anything last second. Which, to me, is the entire... One of the entire points of arcade games is to work on, like, a reflex system. But you can't do it. Your reflexes don't are are hampered every step of the way by control. You feel like you're being chased. Well, guess what? You're being chased, and you have no control. I did rack up a high score to unlock Fantasy Zone, though. So that's how I know I ha how much I hate this fucking game. <sighs> That's the thing. It's not in... It's... It is incompetent, but it's like... Incompetence in not a... Interesting sense. Like, no, this isn't some horrible experiment gone awry. It's trying to clone the hip thing at the time and not just not doing it well. I think it was Joe from GameSack who was like, he was he had to comment on Flicky, and it's like, his comment was, it's it's Flicky. Oh, right. 
And, like, that that is the feelings. Which is way worse to me than... Like, something would be so bad, it's interesting. This is just so bad, it's bad. Trap. I don't know. I... I talked to Mac earlier about when I would start. I don't want to be playing this, normal. I really, really don't. This is... Probably... One, this is one of my most hated games. There's just something about it that bugs me. It takes... It turns skill... It's things that should be skill-based into luck and... It just doesn't work, man. The wor- <sighs> Like, it doesn't matter. My bre- my button presses- You can't do last second decisions in an arcade game! What the fuck? Last second decisions in a ar fucking arcade game make the arcade game. You plan, and you use your reflexes. That, that's how arcade-style games are intended to work. Ugh. I don't feel your pain, Mac. I feel my pain. Your pain is mediocre game that, uh, that of some shit on the NES. You know? Like, I'm not gonna say it's good, but I mean, it's... That, that Roger Rabbit's good, but it's not... You don't have a... There's... Ugh, I don't know. This game just bothers me so much. Yeah, I know it's a fucking bad game. This... This game makes me feel infinitely worse, though. Because control, bad control, an arcade, and I don't quite understand what Flicky is, is doing. Also, the American box art is creepy as shit. Because it's a, like a real, realistic looking fucking bird, and it's really weird. I don't know why they did that back in the day. They always ended up looking creepy as shit. Eh, I don't know. I, I don't... I am so inconsistent with what I play, so I don't know. I mean, last night I had two and a half hours of a weird-ass console thing that I had. Which... Eh. You know. I did it. Not proud of it. Like, there were games on there objectively worse than this that I enjoyed more. Because they were objectively worse than this, and were these weird-ass hack jobs, not... They weren't, you know, put out by a good publisher, and they weren't hack jobs into fucking trash by bootleggers. Now, this is just badness to me. Crap. I tried to... Ugh, motherfucker. I am not happy. <sighs> You're right, Mac. This actually does make time go slower. Huh. Like, I didn't expect that to, like, actually do that, because mostly I'm pretty rage quit immune, I'd say. Not a aspect of my personality. Yeah, see, normal. Go play Mafia and suffer. It's like, how do you even get past the first fucking level when it's all shit? 
try it. <laughs> well, I have to play this for an hour, so yay to me. Like, I don't know if you can hear my inputs on my controller. Probably not. But it's like... I'm doing it right... Right when, like, any regular game would do it. You can? You can... Can you hear how fucking delayed it is? I just slide... It's, it's horse shit. It's like... You're not even... You're not even bad enough to warrant, like, joy of any kind of, wow, look how much this sucks. You're just so mishandled, I don't even know. I hate it. You know, give me random hack jobs. I can handle that. You know? I'm good with that. Give me Famicom games that never made it over here because they are too weird for the common man. I, I, I'm good with that. That's my comfort zone. That kind of trash, I can live in. I can't live in this kind. I'm sure there's like some world champion fucking flicky flares that are, are like, well, you just don't get it. No, this is, this is, this is like Paperboy to me. Playing this, it's like Paperboy where it's like, I'm sure somebody can do it, but that person sure as hell ain't fucking me. And I really don't want to be me either. Damn it. <sighs> Maybe it's because I actually like arcade games that I find this game so bad. Like, I don't know. I know arcade is, is a dead genre, basically, you know? But... You know, people want more out of their game, I guess, but... I also don't understand the, uh... Is this just, like, a... What's the physicality here of this, like... Room? Like, seriously. How does it work? Am I, like, in a circular... I, it's like... A pan... An infinite panoramic room... And I don't get it. Like, I'm trying to picture how this would work in real space, and it's like a... Toilet paper roll, is it? Why am I flinging phones now? Damn it! God damn it! Why do some of the chicks have sunglasses? Is that like a thing? They're supposed to be. Cr Fuck! but I'm going to continue to. Oh, you are still there. 
apparently watching my fucking suffering. Look, man, you're you're gonna at, right now. You're enjoying yourself, but remember, you're gonna be playing Bubsy 3D at some point. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, learn, you know, get it in now. I don't have to touch that. Because I don't have any own anything equivalent to that. Because I haven't wasted my life <laughs> collecting Bubsy 3D. I've wasted my life collecting other pieces of crap. Would you believe me if I said I had more fun playing E.T. than I do playing this? Like, fucking E.T. for... Is... is... Ugh. Oh. I can stand that game. It's fine. It's so trash. And it's, and it's ambitious. This isn't even ambitious. It's a knockoff idea, and then it adds nothing I want to the table. Like, the bounce mechanic off Mappy is so tight. You know? Last second decision making, all of that, it's so tight. And this is loose and shit. It sucks. Like, momentum mechanic might, you know, it works in Sonic because the level is fucking designed around it. Going from shelf to shelf like this, when you need to make these really quick stops without, with, and your attack is based on what you're holding, that doesn't work. It's not an equivalent. It's like, that is the only thing they ended up taking from this game that ended up being worth anything, I would imagine. Shit. The fact that I'm doing this sober is probably a mistake. It's definitely a mistake. I shouldn't be sober right now. But I am. Because I got shit to do later. Damn it. What I really hate is how fucking sore your thumb gets from pushing so hard in one direction in vain, trying to get it to move. Like, it's barely any better on a joystick, you just end up hurting your wrist instead of your thumb. So, I mean... You know, that's more your, if, you know, your style's more pain to the wrist, I guess you have a choice. I get the cats want to eat the birds, but like, like, is there like a reason they do? There's a story here. I 
I don't know. Maybe I'll have to play 3D Blast at some point and find out. Fuck. Because 3D Blast is technically Flicky is Sonic Flicky's Island, uh, which you actually can notice if you look at the at the art. Uh, that's the actual Japanese title. So, Flicky is a canon Sonic character, I guess you'd say. And you rescue him in a lot of games and shit. I wonder if Sonic 3D Blast in in that sense is is divisive as Yoshi's Island is in the Mario community. So, I mean, that's a pretty divisive game in, in that community, I guess. Which, I mean, this may suck, but at least I don't have to listen to Yoshi sing. It's just horrible carnival music. Horrible, horrible carnival music. God damn it. You know, I could be using, like, save states and shit to get further, but I'm doing this oh natural. Because this game does have, like, save states and shit. You know, being, uh, being on this disc. No, I'm going for the full experience of, yeah, start at the beginning, fucker. We know you didn't have fun. Oh, and this is where they add the bouncing pads. Because hate. They hate you. They hate you so much. Like, you think, you think they don't. They don't, they're like, fine. But no. No, they do. They want you to die. They want you to go nuts. Like, oh, it's a challenge. It's not a challenge. A challenge is fair. It's not a challenge. Like, challenges have an element of you possibly winning. I'm feeling good about your winning. I don't feel good. I'm pissed I had to do it in the first place. I hate that you will, I also get better at it as I play it. Like, that's the thing, it's like, I hate that I, that, like, there's even a skill level to obtain here. I hate. You're like, fucking am. From I have no mouth. Hate, hate, a thousand times hate. If you haven't played I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, you should get on that shit. It is a very good point and click that will disturb you in several ways. Uh, the book slash short story will also do similar things. But uh, uh, the game is, is... Well, here's the thing. The game is a sequel to the book. Which is kind of unusual. And the book reads like a goddamn fever dream. Which, I mean... So obviously I recommend it. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, right. I'm playing this. I will say, unlike Mac, I, I have no qualms swearing my way through videos or streams. 
as I have no intent to monetize, is so. I imagine it helps. Then again, he has a no swearing policy in real life, so remember. So don't ask me. I swear through everything. It's like, you know what? Do you think you're edgy or cool? No, it's just how I talk. It's how I talk, especially, you know, when I'm frustrated, which life is frustrating. So, of course I talk like that. It makes sense. At least to me. Also, if anyone watches the archive of this, go bug Max while he plays Mind Over Mutant. Please, go do it. That, you know, it might restore some of my dignity. Look, he wants to crash themed days. He's gonna either Mind Over Mutant or he's gonna get a Game Boy player and do uh, fucking purple. That fucking atrocious GBA game. <sighs> the D-pad does nothing. It's like, okay, then try the stick. Well, the stick has too much travel. It's not like a micro switch, you know, where it, it you can sort of, I don't know. I like a good micro switch. Uh, like, stick. Like, for arcade games. They are awesome. They, when they break, it sucks. But they, when they work, they're great. Uh, Neo Geo, uh, the Neo Geo CD and the Pocket both had really good ones. Also, for reasons I can't comprehend, I know Willow Firefox is doing a 24-hour stream. I'm never going to do a 24-hour stream. I, I have no desire to. It's like people come out of that, like, emotionally traumatized. It's like, please, I get enough of that in my day-to-day -day life. This is more like therapy for me. It's, it seems counterproductive. Also, I mean, like, I switch games so frequently, I'd, I'd probably just end up pissing people off. They'd be like, I came here for this game. Well, I got... I decided to play this now. Because that's how I do. Doesn't even have the decency to have the Sega, like, thing. Like, the say you know, the... Or anything. Just nothing. Uh, uh. Am I getting worse or am I getting better? Or do, do you know? I was getting better. Now I'm worse. This isn't like a Donkey Kong or a Pac-Man or... I, I can entertain myself playing this over and over, you know. It doesn't have that addictive quality, which, according to reports from the from Sega themselves, it did in their offices. I don't know what the people in their offices were smoking. I mean, this isn't fucking Tetris. You know? The fact that there are multiple versions of this also saddens me. You know, Arcade, Genesis, Master System, <laughs> Sega CD, 
Sega Saturn, PC. Like, it's every, it's been everywhere, and, like, there's classic games that are, like, never gonna be seen or heard from again, and what gets ported everywhere? Fucking Flicky. That, that, you know... It's just so wrong to me. But then again, I do... If I was in charge of porting things, I'd probably do it in order of obscurity and not make the company any money and bankrupt them. Very quickly. All <sighs> oh, right, catching the chicks that I don't care about. Like, fall to the ground and die. Honestly, I, I'm not. I don't really care. <sighs> this music is getting drilled into my goddamn brain. I could be playing something way shittier, but way more interesting right now. Like, that's what gets me. I could be playing my fucking Spongebob plug and play that's terrible as shit. Hell, I have a fucking Care Bears one, for Christ's sake. That's garbage. I'd love to be playing that instead. It'd be way more fun. Yeah, I know. I I am keeping an eye on it. My setup allows me to do that, Mac. So I have I have my laptop right next to me. I can read your comments pretty easily with an eye shot. And also, since I don't do a camera, I don't have to worry about a, have it, like being in frame or anything. I mean, I have a camera, I just don't use it. Just fuck it. Am I actually getting better at this? Because I really don't want that to be the case. Like, it's a, it's a skill I do not want. You know? I mean... Mac, do you want title of best Roger Rabbit player in existence? Exactly, you don't. Nobody wants that shit. You don't want, you don't want to get better at games that you hate for fear that you'll start, you know, end up having to play them. I can't imagine that. That's an ex that's a not an existence worth living, right there. Like I want, I fear that somehow the skill I need for other games will go away because I I, I made room for flicky skill. Oh, you wanted to beat that boss in Rogue Legacy? Well, fuck you. You wasted that on flicky time. It's about as irrational as a fear as it gets, but it's there. You know? Oh, you, you, you wanted to see the end of this? Well, no. You wasted it. Skill on Flicky. Whew. 
I am sure that's about as insane as it sounds in my head, too, but, you know. What can you do? Not say insane shit? Then why be on YouTube? If you're not willing to be wrong and say insane shit, you probably shouldn't be on here. be playing Rogue Legacy right now. You know, I, I could be playing, like, Enter the Gungeon. I could be playing so many things right now. Yakuza Kiwami, or... Ugh. That's the thing. It's, I could be getting better at those games instead of refining, like, fucking flicky skills. Like, I wonder if there's somebody that holds an arcade record for something that absolutely despises the game itself. It's like in the Street Fighter scene, how Daigo, like, is now doing Blaze Blue for whatever reason. It's like, you're fucking Daigo. We na there's a move named after you for fuck's sake. The Daigo Fairy. And now you're doing fucking Blaze Blue? What the hell? I mean, Blaze Blue, don't get me wrong, is not a bad game, but it's also not significantly different, I guess. I don't know. I know there ended up like being a manga based off his life that I kind of would would like to read someday. I don't know. The Japanese take their fighters way more seriously than we do, I think. Unless you're like a hardcore FGC guy. I'm not. I do watch matches, but... I mean... Get fucking wrecked with Sonic Fox, motherfucker, in a giant furry costume. Beating everybody. Just wanted to, you know... Oh. Why do they go to the next floor and then spin die? I don't understand. Now, hammers at least make sense to throw. Why does it change the item from thing to thing? No, oh, right. I could be reading a book, or a comic book, preferably, at the moment. I could be watching Luke Cage Season 2 right now, but no, I'm playing this shit. I generally marathon it, but I didn't this time. I feel kind of bad, but I had to do things today, unfortunately. I've heard the soundtrack's good. I'm, I'm, uh, last season's was great, so... I can imagine that. You know, I had the Method Man cameo. Which, I mean, Wu Tang ain't nothing to be fucking with. My say is the pastiest pecker wood on the planet. Is that phrase even still used in prisons, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I I haven't watched American History X in a while. I should get on that.
Don't worry about what. I just didn't know if it was still used. <laughs> I'll get through this, but I'm not going to be happy about it. I do get through it. See, here's the thing. Unlike, unlike, unlike me, you feel remorse. I know, but you feel remorse over this. I do not. I, I, I regret nothing about making you do a shitty game. Honestly. Like, yeah, that's that's what I do. I taunt the people that have challenged me even though I'm suffering from it. That's a smart move. <laughs> SMRT smart. <laughs> that's what that fucking is. I'm betting this is, so, like, like if this was, like, an episode of a TV show, it would be all about learning empathy for other people's conditions, you know? Like, oh, you shouldn't bet things that make people in pain, because, you know, other people feel pain, but it's like... Or the lesson is, come up with worse things than the guy next to you. That's my lesson from this. Come, come up with even worse and more horrible things to make your friends do. I feel like I could turn this into like a weird ass episode of Moral Oral that way. Where it's like all the... All the like, if you, if you weren't aware, Moral Oral, every episode starts off with a moral of the story, and, like, he gets the correct moral most of the time, and then his dad teaches him something fucked up and horrible. Like, his dad teaches him to be racist, and then he becomes so exclusionary that he ends up like, waiting hand and foot on people, on people of color. It's, like, the weirdest shit. I loved that show. It's, like, moral isn't, isn't, like, actually, like, bad. Like, he's just trying to please his dad. And he knows when what he's doing is, doesn't feel right, and, you know, he'll go against it. That last season was a trip of just, Wow. That was so depressing. You know. It's one of those shows that was done, that, you know, a Starburns production show I just don't hear enough about. Maybe it was too ahead of its, ahead of the game. You know, like Venture Brothers. See, what I'm doing is I'm using a tactic to distract myself from how much I hate this by going off on it, what is known as a tangent. It is mostly working because I'm thinking about shows I like. Problem is, if you mess up the self denial portion of it, sometimes it can backfire. I still think the crack episode's the best one, though, where he... That giving away... His dad teaches him that giving away money without getting anything in return while... Like, that it's... 
it's wrong because it's a waste of money. And so he ends up trying to want want to give a homeless guy money, but he needs to he needs to actually buy something, you know, and the homeless guy gives him crack. It's great. So you end up with this like fucking ten year old smoking crack. I have a weird sense of humor, I guess. We can't have our ten, you know, we can't have our ten-year-olds on crack. Whatever. Square. You're not my dad. There's so many, like, really bizarre comedy shows that I feel like have kind of gotten lost to time. That, like, people talk about the edginess of today's comedy, but there were, there, there was some pretty out there shit back in the day you just had to dig, you know? Like, Strangers with Candy is fucking dark and weird. I love it. Amy Sedaris is awesome. Uh, so is her brother, her, uh, David Sedaris, the writer. I actually saw him speak once. It was great. Fucking damn it. Um... But his, uh, his short... Stories and memoirs are very, very funny. Like, he actually had two really dark, fucked up dick jokes in that, in his in his speech thing, and it's like, this is supposed to be like a symposium thing for, like, real writers, you know? It's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> Gotta love it. And they are probably some of the darkest ones I, I know now. Like, I've never forgotten them, which... Like, I don't even want... I don't. They're not so dark, I don't want to tell them. They're more... I don't want to build it up too high and then disappoint people. Because maybe it's not as funny as I think it is. Who knows? I don't know. But his sister, Amy Sidaris, also, his, she has a show now, I think, on, like, True TV. That is, like, based off of her books, which is about ho fake homemaking, basically, and, uh, basically parodies of how to be a homemaker, it, it's, or a satire, it, that's, that's a fine line right there, especially with her. But she also plays the, uh, the agent cat on, uh, BoJack Horseman, which is a great show. Go watch BoJack if you haven't. I mean, you're going to feel like, you know, awful, but I mean, whatever. Oh. Hey, I got a perfect there. 
I, I just don't give a shit, though. Starting to feel numb. My brain is protecting itself from the mediocrity and the lack of lack of stimuli. I could be finishing watching Meatball Machine right now. I could be checking Amazon for even weirder films. I could be watching somebody else play something horrible that's making them suffer instead of, the, you know, making me suffer. Yeah, ten minutes of this shit. I know. I know. I'm not happy about it, but I know. <sighs> this is like an isolation tank kind of experience to me, where it's just like, I just don't give a fuck. Like, if it's so terrible, I can give a fuck. If it's so badly programmed in some weird hack job, not a fucking piece of shit that's like nothing. It's nothing. The bad controls that people will just explain away is, oh, that's the challenge. It, it's like nobody, nobody will take it seriously, man. The horror. The horrors of mediocrity. It's the true enemy of games. I mean, think about it. You'll play a piece of crap, like, for 20 minutes and be like, you know what, that was a decent experience. Of, of shit. You know, it was, it was shit, but it was an experience. But you play a mediocre game, you either, you'll forget it. Why do you forget? Because your brain's trying to protect itself from mediocrity. Hmm? I mean, that's where, like, some games, nostalgia really comes into play for their stereo for their staying power. It's like, no, 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 that game isn't good, you just have, like, nuts nostalgia for it. One such case is when I went to go revisit Arctic Adventure for DOS. It uh, did not age well. That's some serious nostalgia goggles for that. Same thing with its uh, sister franchise, or the like, same guy, different one is uh, Pharaoh's Tomb. Did not age well. It's like that, the nostalgia glasses are thick. Like, I keep them on on purpose when I play it. Like, I, I get way less suffering out of it, even though it sucks, because, you know, you can put those really thick nostalgia glasses on, and you're like, Oh, I remember when... You know... Pish posh, it was terrible. But, oh, it's we enjoyed it. I have no nostalgia for fucking Flicky. You know? The 
There's no... There's nothing but raw mediocrity and boredom to be had here. Games that, like... Give me a janky PS1 or PS2 game that with an insane idea. Yeah, I can get behind that. Give me fucking Samurai Gunman. Yeah, I'll do that shit all day. Fuck it. If I could figure out how the controls work, I'd be playing Never Dead right now. Because it's like, wow, this looks like a stupid world and shit. Looks great. I'm happy to be part of it. I'm happy to impart that experience onto people. This? No. God. I could be playing the Simpsons Game Boy Color game based off Treehouse of Horror. It's not that good, but, I mean, it has personality. Simpsons games, while terrible, are brimming with bizarre personality. You know, you cannot tell me that you it is, like, Bart versus the Space Mutants, as terrible as it is, is unidentifiable. That game's horrible, but, I mean, it's something. Same thing with Virtual Bart. The beat -em up Well, the beat-em-up's not bad, per se, but it's... Not special, either. Um... A lot of people really tend to glorify that beat-em-up. I don't get it. I do like that uh, Abe from uh, uh, his comic Life in Hell makes an appearance in it, though. I find that kind of awesome. Which, if you haven't read Matt Groening's uh, uh, Life in Hell comics... I'm not sure how relevant they are to people now, but they were some really, it was some real relevant shit at the time. Very, uh, proto-Ted Roll, I'll say, I'd say, which I'm sure like three people know what the fuck I'm talking about, but in the world at this venture, because they, they're like, who's Ted Roll again? Oh yeah, it's the guy who was in, like, arguments over the guy who did P uh, PvP, that comic, which... That's one I fell off of real hard as a webcomic. I fell off of that, fell off of Sinfest. It's kind of sad how many of the classics of, of webcomics I just sort of just... You know, that I loved at first, and then boom... Something positive is still good, though. I, I read that regularly. And I think it's because he takes his time. He doesn't. He has a schedule, but it's nothing super restraining. And people have come to realize... His fan base is pretty... Pretty understanding of dark subject matters. Like, he is the same guy who... His points of view have changed from you know, shit to shit, but he's not... I don't know, how do I put it? Simpsons Arcade is mediocre at best, Mac. It really is. Same thing with the X-Men Arcade one. It is a mediocre beat-em-up at best. The nostalgia glasses are thick as shit. I can tell you that right now. According to my count, I have a 
I have less than that, but I'm just gonna let you count it. Just fuck it. I don't wanna have to do this shit again. None of that. Oh, you didn't do it for the full time horse shit here. Ah! Yes, I got one more round. I hate this so much. So fucking much. Why the fuck did my own stream just pop up on my phone? That's really weird. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. I'm gonna play around to something good to come off of that. Something I actually enjoy. Off this collection. Let's see what do we got. Gang. Nah. Eh. on the Alex Kid one and see what, how that works. I don't think I've booted this up in a long time, so fuck it. Alex! Kid. Let's do a little bit of this. The, in the Enchanted Castle. It's 1989. All right. You know, he's basically just the Monkey King. Like, straight up. I think maybe that's why his design has never been appealing to me. You know, he's just the fucking Monkey King. Like, this doesn't control the best in the world, but it's definitely not a bad game. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's some decent parallax. Do, 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 do. I, like, played this, like, in my youth a couple of times. And, I mean, I never really thought much of Alex Kidd. Uh, that's an Onigiri. Rice ball. Da, 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 I don't care about Alex Kid, but at least it's not flicky, making this easier to take. I always wonder what his powers exactly are supposed to be. Like, jump and kick, I get. But, like... Whatever. Jump and kick, I get. But... Like, why does he get big? Is it like a... What's that? Like, what's the situation there? Is it like that... What the, you know, wh why does that happen? Is there a thing... Is there a reason... I don't know. Do, 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 do. Honestly, he doesn't look as interesting as his 8-bit counterpart to me in this form. Damn it.
you have the time punching those cars. The fact that I'm punching a car to death, though, is, is amusing in its own right. I mean, look at that. I, I literally am, like, fucking punching a car to death. It's awesome. Gotta say, I've never seen Mario do that. You know? Scar one for the kid, I guess. But you have to time it. Oh, that's enough for today. In general. I got other shit to do. So. What is it that uh, Red Green used to say? Keep your stick on the ice? Yeah, let's go with that. Keep your stick on the ice.